So CRDTs, when building an online service or application, you're going to want some certain behaviors. Uh, being online is probably a key behavior that you're going to want. Uh, put another way, availability of a service is crucial for your customers to access it. If it's unavailable, it's not serving its purpose. And when a service you want to use is unavailable, you may look for a permanent alternative. How can we prevent failure to avoid unavailability? It turns out this is pretty hard. Uh, so we focus on building systems that tolerate forms of failure. Common design patterns have us build distributed systems using redundancy of hardware, software, and data to ensure failures within the service don't impact overall service availability. But slow services are just as bad. Asking a user to wait, displaying a loading image, or worse, a complete lack of feedback, all result in frustration and the chance of the user abandoning their objective. Latency costs money, and high latency can be indistinguishable from failure. Building a distributed system allows a level of fault tolerance to increase availability. It also gives us other properties, like geo-replication, getting your data closer to your end customers. But there's a trade-off when building a distributed system. They have to make some choices during failure states. Cap theorem again, third time today, I think. So Eric Brewer conjectured there are three desirable properties in any distributed system. Consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. The other guys have covered this a bit, and there's not really time in this talk. Consistency and availability are what we adjust in our trade-off. If you require consistency in the face of partitions, then you lose some ability to be available. Being unavailable can mean lost revenue. If you choose availability, you then need to relax consistency. Even when a distributed system is not in a partition state, you trade consistency for latency. So consensus, which you need for consistency, costs latency. And remember, latency can also mean lost revenue. In a partition state, a consistent system must decide how to prevent inconsistency. A common way is to have a majority wins approach, where a minority of servers refuse operations while the partition state is resolved. An available system can handle a partition state by still accepting operations on data and allowing multiple versions of the same value. Resolution of that inconsistency occurs when the system is no longer in a partition state but which value do we pick in this situation? Uh, we'll look at some resolution strategies. A very common and easy one to implement is last write wins, or all of the writes lose. This way, you converge on a single version for all copies based on the timestamp. But what are you losing by dropping those other versions? Ignoring clock skew for a moment, you can't even be sure the latest writes or earlier writes from other clients. This is effectively data loss. Another strategy is storing multiple versions of the value and using some form of semantic resolution. So using the semantics of the domain to define a path to that single value. An example being a union operation where we take two different divergent copies and create a single consistent version. But this passes the pain onto the developer to build ad hoc resolution strategies for the use case at hand. It can be tricky when it comes to certain data as well. What if someone built a series of reusable data types? Convergent replicated data types are those data types and offer a principled approach to eventually consistent data modeling. Some very cool maths ensures these defined data types always converge to a single correct value. In this example, a CRDT counter can know that different numbers the either side of a partition can resolve and be added up to give you your correct answer. An example of a CRDT set can take different copies of the same value and know that they should be merged together into a list. These are some example data types that have been uh, developed from research at a few research institutes and along with a few uh, companies. And they show the kind of building blocks of a distributed system. It's ongoing research. So there's sort of five or six there, uh, but it's being backed by the European Commission and, as I say, a series of universities uh, and I hope to see some new data types soon. Thank you.